So guys, in the last video, we have talked about line follower robot, right? So in this video, we will talk about autonomous rover or also called autonomous robot. So autonomous robot has few differences from uh, the line follower robot. Yeah, uh, autonomous robot can definitely do the things which line follower robot does, but there are some critical applications in which uh, autonomous rover can be used. So autonomous rover is nothing but another robot basically. So the important point about uh, this particular robot is uh, it has self-processing uh, um, capability. So what we mean by processing capability is basically it can, it can sense the things because it has sensors it takes that feedback and uh, processes that input and <coughs> controls uh, the robot automatically without any human control involved. So it works completely independent and uh, important applications of these uh, autonomous rovers is uh, <coughs> in commercial applications where is uh, in hotels if you want to deliver or uh, um, and uh, like hard terrain um, applications and then uh, space applications are something which uh, people are using so the the one important point is uh, as we are saying there is a processing that is required uh, um, for the sensors that uh, that are uh, sensor input that is coming to this uh, uh, robot right so there are uh, typical algorithms that are involved uh, one uh, um, algorithm which is a pid algorithm is the base for most of these uh, uh, robots <coughs> and we'll talk about this algorithm in future videos so we'll start covering different aspects of these robotics uh, in um, the coming videos. Thank you.